Hello and welcome to this, the third video in our series talking about the new EU regulations. I'm Ben, the head of training here at HeliGuy, and in this video we're going to be talking specifically about the general visual line of sight certificate and operational authorizations. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So as we've already talked about in the previous videos, the new European regulations come into effect on the 1st of July this year, and they're going to affect the current provision of the PFCO in that the syllabus of the current course is changing to meet the requirements of the new GVC, the General Visual Line of Sight Certificate. So in the run-up to July 2020, you'll start to see less NQEs exist and more RAEs or recognized assessment entities such as HeliGuy. We're currently in transition to become a recognized assessment entity so we can deliver both the A2 C of C course and the general visual line of sight certificate course as well as some bolt-on modules which we'll talk more about later in the video. So to kick us off, the biggest question that we're being asked at the moment, I have a valid permission for commercial operation, what's going to happen to me? Well, in short, providing that you continue to keep the permission for commercial operation valid through past transition of July 1st, then you can continue to operate with the same provisions currently afforded by your PFCO. Upon your first renewal of your permission for commercial operation after July 1st, 2020, then your PFCO will change into an operational authorization. But you'll be pleased to hear that there's no additional training requirements. The term grandfathered is being used to describe that process, meaning that your qualifications as they stand today under the PFCO scheme will continue to apply and be valid against the operational authorization. If, however, the PFCO expires even for a day after the time in which the uh, new European regulations come into effect, then unfortunately your qualifications become null and void and you'd have to sit the GVC, the General Visual Line of Sight Certificate course, starting back at the start again. So talking about the GVC course, what it looks like and what it's going to entail, well the syllabus is already available to look at at uh, CAP 722 Bravo. And that's what NQEs or RAEs as we're to become used to uh, abide by the, the CEA syllabus and design the courses around that structure. The syllabus looks very similar to the current PFCO with a few additions and a few changes obviously to incorporate the change in regulations as we're going to see over the next coming few months. Now the critical elements required to obtain an operational authorization remain pretty much the same as the current PFCO offerings in that the candidate has to sit a ground school, a GVC ground school, unless they have an existing aviation qualification as detailed in CAP 722. The next stage is once you've completed the theoretical examination part of the GVC ground school, then you have to produce an approved operations manual and that's approved by the RAE. The final critical element is the conduct of a practical flight assessment where you're assessed against your ability to operate strictly in accordance with the procedures outlined in your ops manual and of course that you have the required remote pilot skill to operate the aircraft. Once those three critical elements have been achieved then you get issued a recommendation for an operational authorization. It's then that you can submit your application either as an individual or as an organisation to get an operational authorization. There are additional bolt-on modules which you can complete with a recognized assessment entity in the form of the EV loss and BV loss, beyond visual line of sight and extended visual line of sight. And these are going to be published as standard scenarios or STSs. With the CEA's proposed scheme of charges, we see that it does cost some money, uh, a quite reasonable amount actually, around about £125 in order to add the uh, EV loss or BV loss STSs once they come available. They're currently not available, but they will be published in the not too distant future. The majority of this is all practical based assessments. There is no theoretical knowledge or mandatory, I should say, theoretical knowledge. However, the majority of REEs will probably offer some form of theoretical learning as part of that process. It does also require the necessary procedures to be added to the operations manual, the OSC, so that the EV loss and BV loss procedures specifically are differentiated from standard or normal operating procedures. So that is a very quick overview of the coming GVC, the General Visual Line of Sight Certificate course, which will be available with HeliGuy from June the 1st, 2020. We will of course announce the additions of the EV loss and BV loss modules as they come available and we can start to offer those going forward in the future. 
So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any comments, then by all means, leave them in the comments below. We'll get round to answering those as soon as we can. And if you enjoyed this video, then hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see lots more content coming out in the not too distant future. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.